Hey everybody, today on Barber Dave Shaves and Such, we're going to talk about DE razor techniques. Oh boy, is this going to be exciting. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Tuesday. So yesterday, if you watched the video, we talked about straight razor techniques and how, you know, there are some people out there that say, oh, you need to do it this way, you need to do it this way. And I had uh, argued the fact that each person is going to have to do what they need to do to get the technique that they can have the most fun with have the best results and not kill themselves. Well, although I did indicate that there are certain basics that you have to do. One, and I think the most important one, is mapping your beard. Which way does your whiskers grow? So I'm not going to go over that again, uh, but that's one thing you need to do. You need to map your beard. So if you're watching this video, uh, either you're new to traditional shaving or you've been around forever. Um, and if you've been around forever, you probably already have a DE technique that you'd like. But, so again, I reiterate that whether you're shaving with a DE, an SC, a gem razor, each um, technique that you get that makes you get, get the best razor shave is what you want. So what I'm going to do today is talk about different techniques uh, that I have found that work doesn't mean that it'll work for you, but with a DE razor, now I'm using a Feather ASD2, uh, the balance point is much similar to a knife or a sword. It's at the hilt, okay? Um, and you have to kind of figure out where that balance point is. Uh, this one just happens to be right below the second ring. And in my opinion, uh, anybody says no pressure, well, there's always going to be pressure, okay? But how you apply that pressure is what's important. You see some people that hold the razor like this. They just come down and they're holding it and they're gripping it. And then you have some people that, that it will use three or four fingers. What I have found that works best for me is the lightest possible feeling. So just your fingertips. I usually put my thumb right at the balance point and then I'll, I'll float three fingers. Now I'll keep this finger around and I usually put it under here just to stabilize it. And then for me, I do a scything motion so I'm coming down my face like this. I don't recommend that until you feel very comfortable because you can slice yourself because if you stall and go sideways, you're going to cut yourself wide open. And, you know, anybody says, oh, a DE razor is much safer than a straight razor. Not really. I've cut myself more with these than I have with straight razors. So, and what I also recommend is getting the, the exact shave angle that you want. The way I do it is I simply put the razor up to my face and then I'll just start doing small strokes until I feel the blade on my face. That's my angle. And then, like I said, I use a very light touch, but use the weight of the blade to shave with. Now, like I said, I do a kind of very similar to what I do with my straight razors. I come across um, my face because my beard mapping is that way. But yet, in the chin area, I'm straight down. And like I said, somebody asked me about the rolling technique. And you just take it and just roll it. But I'm also only using these three fingers to hold this razor very lightly. Now, the ASD2 is a very mild razor. That's why I'm doing that. Um, and obviously, you're going to adjust your grip with each razor that you use. Now with my straight or uh, with my DE razor, I also still do cross shaving. It's just that I've gotten into that habit. Now, could I do this? Sure. So I could do the one-handed shaving and so forth, but I don't. Uh, like here, I could do the same thing with my right hand. But again, I always check out where I'm at and then get try to get the best angle. Now, I'm not turning the razor to come across. I'm keeping the razor straight and I'm sliding it or scything it. Um, very popular, known as the Gillette slide.
I find that it works for me, doesn't work for everybody. So again, I reiterate, find the technique and the shave that you like. Because if you notice on my neck area, I usually do single strokes. I don't do a lot of this. But on the rest of my face, I'm doing overlapping strokes of about an inch to an inch and a half. And then on my lip, I do a much more abbreviated, you know, probably quarter of an inch. Also, you won't see me stretch my skin with a DE because the safety bar, that's what it does. It pre-stretches the skin, but I do inflate different parts of my cheek and stuff like that. And then, you know, do a natural stretch. So, you know, that's really, that's really about it with a DE. Do not press too hard. You don't need to. I mean, like I said, the pressure of the razor itself is going to help depending on the weight. Now, if you're using something like a Henson or aluminum, they're super, super, super lightweight. And you may have to apply uh, more, more pressure that way. But again, right by the hilt is where my thumb and my forefinger usually go. And then I'll use the other two fingers just to balance it. And I'm balancing the razor on my pad. But then I'll use this variously, you know, to either come down or come up uh, on that. And you'll find your groove. You'll you'll find that um, a lot of your razor technique uh, will transpose to a straight razor or a chevette or whatever. Um, you know, uh, as you go along. Now with this, when I do across the face this way, you'll see me back up a little bit because that'll drop the razor. And so when I uh, put my wrist up, it adds a little bit more weight to the head of the razor as far as um, on the face. But what's funny is I don't cross this way. I, this is the one part where I will switch hands when I'm doing my neck. So again, you know, it's just a weird technique quirk that I've gotten ha uh, you know into the habit of and I do it. So, you know, like I said, it's going to be yours. And again, when I'm doing uh, my across or actually my against the grain on my lip, I'll use my middle finger and use my index finger to balance it so I get a straight. Solid. Um, and then I'll use the same hand, but this time I use the three fingers again. And really, the only place that my technique really changes with a DE is when I'm doing my across the grain. And for most people, that's going to be your against the grain, which is my north uh, or south to north pass. And I did bowl lather today, which I don't often do. And we'll go over all the stuff that we use today because today is a special day. Okay, so when I'm doing my uh, south to north, I'll call it that so it's not confusing, I really back down on the razor to where I'll put my forefinger right at the rings at the very bottom. So the it's almost a pendulum, uh, very heavy on the bottom. And then just let the weight of the razor... Do the work. And I've still only got three fingers with my pinky as just a guide. And like I said, this razor is very, very mild. So I know I'm going to have to do some cleanup. Same thing here. But this time again, Instead of holding it, I've got it reversed. I've got my forefinger resting right about the rings, and then I use my middle finger just to balance it. I 
And like I said, for you veterans, you know, you're seeing this going, well, this is boring. And I get that, you know, but for the newer sh razor uh, shaver out there, this may or may not set them up for success. Uh, as I said, you have to find your own shave. But basic techniques certainly do help. Now, when I'm doing my fool's pass, I will choke back up on the razor to the hilt area and then just use uh, three fingers again, but I've got them in different configurations. Now, with most of my DE razors, they're much more aggressive, so I don't usually have to do much cleanup with the ASD2 always in the neck area. So let's talk about cleanup techniques. Now, traditionally with DEs, you've got buffing, which is this. And again, three fingers. And all you're doing is the blade is not leaving your skin. You're just literally buffing. There's J hooking, which is the same thing. The blade stays on the skin and you rotate the razor like this as you're going. And then there's a stretched buffing. And that usually will get me where I need to be. I don't usually use the J hooking that much other than I, instead of doing a complete J, I actually do rotate the razor in my hand, as you can see. Um, but that doesn't, you know, that's got me in trouble a few times too. So, and this is all if you want to get a DSBBS shave. I do three passes almost every day. I believe in three passes, um, but that's just me. Again, you can do two passes, be DFS and ready to go. So again, a beautiful, beautiful shave, smooth everywhere. Maybe a little bit in here. Like I said, with the with the feather, I have to do some buffing. So that's pretty much it, you know, as far as DE technique is concerned. You're going to find your own way. And when, I can say one thing. With the feather, there is never even a hint of any stain with the... Um, with the owl because it's just like I said it's such a mild mild razor get cleaned up here real quick and we'll go over everything we did so again no one technique is right no one technique is wrong like I said the way you hold the razor you know certain basics the way you hold the razor to where the razor does the work for you um, and again map your beard you'll know what your with the grain is what your across the grain is what your against the grain is and it could be totally different than most people i mean some people are lucky with the grain across the grain against the grain great that makes it easy some people like me is it's all over the place and i would say probably the most most people probably are all over the place because your hair grows differently Now, next week, we may go into lathering techniques and how, how some people will lather, shave, immediately put the lather back on their skin without rinsing in between passes. That happens. So we'll go over that, too. And once again, it's a very personalized, uh, very personalized thing. Uh, today, we're going to be using Thayer's Lemon. One thing I would say is if you're not using Witch Hazel, in your routine, I would. It's uh, it's a wonderful uh, item for your skin. It's all natural for the most part. It feels good on the skin. Um, and it's almost like a pre-aftershave in a way. Um, and I'll let that dry down. So what do we shave with today? Well, we shave with the Feather ASD2. And this has got a Persona um, Lab Blue. That's just my preference uh, for a razor blade. Uh, for the brush today, we use the Sorrentino uh, Corleone. Now, this is a wonderful multi, um, 
brush and uh, had a great zoom call had Eric on the show and uh, it was nice to see him again hopefully at some point in time we'll get him to start making brushes again uh, why is today a special day well it's Tuesday it's time for drinks and days come and see us tonight at 6 p.m pacific because we're going to be talking about things that have vanished whether the big technology food things that we'd love to have come back and things that oh boy are we glad uh that things are gone and it's kind of apropos because i got a good uh, a watch uh that's a very retro watch that i'll be showing on the show as well so with that being mind cbl drinks and daves this is a very smoky whiskey boozy cigari it's perfect um you still can get this i think uh, through cblsoaps.com, but it is very much a boozy, whiskey, smoky, um, peaty type of uh, thing. We worked a long time to get the scent uh, exactly the way we want it with Chris. So, Drinks and Daves. Um, as far as the aftershave, we're going to be using the CBL's Drinks and Daves aftershave tonic. And this is, like I said, I've always said this, it's almost like a milk. Very good for the skin, good properties. And this has uh, witch hazel in it as well. But just wonderful. Oh, the this, this smell on that is just phenomenal. We'll do a little bit of talk today. Not much. Because unfortunately, I get to go out and finish my Barber Aaron days that I didn't get done. Because I forgot some stuff. Okay, and then finally today for our EDP. Uh, this is, uh, you really can't get it anymore unless you go to London. And I was fortunate that my partner, Nurse Dave, uh, actually was in London and I had wanted this for a long time, but it came out so short and this is called Isle. And basically it is scotch in a bottle. It's just, uh, and, and I've actually, I think they've actually worked with some of the, uh, distilleries in Scotland and it's just smoky, boozy, just a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. Um, and everything else so guess what guys that's it uh didn't do a shave yesterday i do apologize about that um we're getting there like i said the next uh, big giveaway will be at 2000 so we got a ways to go but uh please come and visit us at www.theshavingcadre.com also please like subscribe hit the notification bell all those things you do help our channel and uh will allow us to provide more and more content uh we're planning right now uh to start doing live um live with Barbara Dave, uh, probably sometime around November. That's the plan uh, as I see it. All right, everybody. This is My name is Dave. This is Barbara Dave Shaves and Such, and I hope everybody has a great remainder of the week, and we'll see you on Sunday. Take care.